So if you're like me and you've got a flat screen TV that doesn't want to turn on pretty much just like this one, and it's got the red light of death, or maybe in this case, the red and blue flashing light of death or whatever you want to call it, TV does not want to work, something has gone wrong. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> this is a Hisense 49-inch LED TV, and uh, that is what we are going to try and fix today. I'm no ex uh, expert at electronics. I mean, this is just a hobby for me. I've been doing it for a couple of years. Uh, I don't do this every day. I think we should, uh, well, I should probably plug it in and show you what's happening. You're not going to see much, but um, I'll plug it in there. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's a little blue light. And if you try and turn it on, does this thing even have batteries in it? Yeah, it does. Uh, but if you try and turn it on, nothing wants to turn on. So this is the little red and blue light that I'm talking about now. On camera, it doesn't seem to really want to come out, but with your natural human eye, if you look at it, you'll see that there is a little red and a little blue LED that are illuminated in there. And this is exactly what happens. Um, nothing wants to turn on and that is pretty much it. And what can also happen leading up to the complete failure of these TVs, I noticed this, and maybe it's something that you've noticed as well, is maybe you want to turn your TV on and you try and turn it on, it won't turn on. So you go to the wall outlet and you turn it off, or maybe you completely unplug it and you plug it back in, and then your TV turns on and functions like normal. Then you try the next day and the same thing happens. You've got to unplug it and then plug it back in before the TV turns on. This is an indication that something is starting to fail inside the TV and before this one completely failed um, we had to turn it off and turn it back on or unplug it and plug it back in ugh, like 10 or 15 times and eventually it would turn on and then well eventually it didn't turn on and well yeah we are. So uh, let's open up the TV before you work on any electronics though before we open up anything at the back we always want to completely unplug it don't just switch it off at the wall outlet completely unplug it. Let's get the back of the TV cover off and let's see if we can see anything that has failed inside. So this circuit board here looks like it's a mixture of the power board over there and it's also got the RO or the interface board over here on the same board. And then there's a bit of wiring that goes over to what I assume to be is the display section and this connects to the um, the LED edge lighting and to the LCD display. And the problem is likely going to be here. So there's a little bit of dust that we need to clean off. And um, here are the telltale signs that this is what I thought the problem was going to be. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but have a look at these capacitors over there. So normally a capacitor is supposed to be like that, very flat on the top. But have a look at these. You can see that uh, these ones here, they are actually slightly bulged. Here we go, that's a bit of view. You can see that they are bulged on the top. Those capacitors have failed. Um, now there's a whole lot over here. So looking at the top of that one, it still looks pretty flat. Looking at the top of that big one there, it still looks pretty flat. Uh, well, that one looks pretty flat. This little one here looks a bit bulged as well. And then this one still looks flat. So without measuring anything, those 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 need to be replaced straight away. And I'm going to go out on a Lumia and say, if we replace those three capacitors, um, the TV is going to work again. So I just got back from the electronics store and here are the replacement components. Now, I did get replacements for, for many of these capacitors because if some of them have failed, it's highly likely that the others are about to fail. These were super cheap, like 26 Rand. That's like, that's like one and a half US dollars. <laughs> so really cheap. Hopefully, this fix is going to be successful. So next step is to get the board out, uh, to get it unscrewed. I'm going to unplug everything and then we'll get the old components unsoldered and then we'll solder in the new components. Now, what I'm going to do is these three capacitors that are bulged, I'm just going to replace those first and then I'm going to plug everything back in and see if it turns on. If it does turn on, then I'll go ahead and then take out the other capacitors and replace those.
So that was me looking a little bit confused and of course a little bit let down. The simple repair that I thought it was going to be didn't end up working. Now I did go ahead and replace the other capacitors on the board. I did try that. It didn't work. So yeah, kind of stumped for now. Now the model number of this board is tpv 56 PC821 and I believe it is a universal main power supply board and it seems like you can buy a replacement board or at least a variation of this board that'll work in this TV but of course the goal here uh, was to find out what went wrong with this board what were those faulty components and try and replace them and see if we could get the TV set working again. Now I did do a little bit more prodding and a little bit of voltage measurement um, or measurements on the board and it seems like the 12 volt regulator is still working. There's also a triple one eight voltage regulator and I measured all of these voltages. So that seems like it is still working. I also individually measured each of the LED backlights and those are all still working. And I was doing a little bit of Googling on some of the forums and watching a, a YouTube video or two as we normally do. And I did see one guy uh, actually said that sometimes the two capacitors that run in conjunction with the oscillator, sometimes those go faulty and then the clock doesn't work and then the main RC doesn't actually start up and well, of course, then nothing will work. And supposedly there is a 0 0.6 volt uh, measurement or voltage that you can measure on one of the transistors if that is the case. I'm not sure which one it is going to be on this board, but I thought, you know what, let me not waste any more time. Let me head over to the world of YouTube because there's a lot of clever people on there and maybe you guys have come across this problem already and you're able to share some of your knowledge with me. So if you do have any guidance or any ideas as to what could be the problem, yeah, please leave it in the comments and maybe sometime in the near future I'll be able to get this, uh, this TV repaired. And as a reminder, the problem with the TV is that it wouldn't switch on and the little blue and red light on the standby light it wasn't flashing, it was just solid, steady on. So that's the only indication that I've got from the TV that there's any power or whatever is or isn't going on. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.